Hi, my name is Amanda Salazar. I'm from Hailden, New Jersey. My story is that I had a bone marrow transplant six years ago. I was born with sickle cell disease. Somebody donated their umbilical cord, so a mom who had a baby donated their umbilical cord, and from that umbilical cord they were able to take the stem cells out to give them to me, and that's how I was able to get my transplant. There are currently 118,000 people waiting for an organ. Another person is added to the waiting list every 10 minutes. When I was in high school, my mom was diagnosed with leukemia. Um, I was junior in high school at the beginning of the semester. Um, and it was just kind of like uh, she had fell in her backyard and she got this bruise and the bruise never went away. Um, so she ended up going to her doctor and within maybe like two days, um, they diagnosed her with a uh, type of cancer. Um, and she spent the next couple of days in the hospital um, just preparing her to start going through um, cancer treatments. Um, she was lucky because she had someone match to her to be an organ, um, to donate their part of their bone marrow to her. Um, so, sorry. Um, so, in an effort to kind of gain, um, to make people more aware of um, organ donations and bone marrow um, donations, um, my dad helped fairs to help get people to join the registry. Um, my aunt held out, my dad held a lot in New Jersey. My aunt held, one, held ones out in California. Um, and then actually, uh, my mom was matched and she got a transplant. And recently my uncle has been matched to someone else. So he's currently going through further testing um, to hopefully be an organ donor to someone else as well. In May of 2009, one of our brothers, Cameron Chana of Eastern Illinois University, was tragically killed in a bus accident. Though Cameron's life ended, his story continues through the awesome gift of organ, eye, and tissue donation. In honor of Cameron, Sigma Pi has partnered with Donate Life America to encourage all Sigma Pi members to register or reaffirm their decision to save lives through organ and tissue donation. one of Sigma Pi's philanthropies and we, so we hold that very dear to us and it's very important because there's a ton of people all over the world that need transplants every day so having this is very important and uh, it's very good for the community. National philanthropy is with Donate Life um, and the hard work that they put in always trying to raise awareness for organ donation and the various tabling events that we have to support this also. Uh, I've learned a whole lot about Donate Life. My um, mom has diabetes, which caused uh, stage four kidney disease, and she is now on the donor list to receive a kidney and um, pancreas transplant. You can make a tremendous difference in the life of all the men, women, and children awaiting organ transplants and the hundreds of thousands more in need of tissue and cornea transplant. Um, I think it's important because there's a lot of criteria for people getting matched uh, when it comes to organs and things of that nature. So the more people that are organ donors, uh, the bigger likelihood that people are able to help out in case of an emergency or if it's a necessity that someone has an organ, it's like a bigger pool to choose from. Um, I just think that it's something that everyone should really consider. I think, you know, it's not just like a box that you kind of check mark when you get your license. It's kind of something a little bit more deeper than that. And I feel like it just helps so many people in the community that it's just so beneficial. And I really um, think everyone should be a part of it. Help bridge the gap by registering today.